I'm Ryan. And this is the recap video for week four of Balboa One from March of 2014. Um, the theme for this week was introducing rotation into your pure Balboa. And the first thing we had to do was simply um, rotate your basic. Mm -hmm. So um, we have heretofore been doing our basic with a kind of backwards forwards. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You can do this either up hold or down hold, Doesn't whatever matter. you can choose. Right? So we're still going to be doing that kind of saw in the wood here. We just happen to change the trajectory each time so that we slowly go in a clockwise circle. You can also rotate your basic counterclockwise. That is also fun. So it's good to be able to do both. Right? So that's the simplest way to add some rotation into your basic. Kind of mix things up a little bit if you don't have a lot of moves. Um, the next thing we did was paddle turns. And we had two specific patterns that we taught you because we would otherwise spend the entire class on paddle turns. Yeah. The two that we worked on, to show your partner, yeah. okay, um, was uh, leaders uh, going backwards and uh, clockwise, right? right? Which was a shoot, do, do, a shoot, do, do, a shoot, do, plant, and a paddle, 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 step back, and a shoot, do, do, a shoot, do, do. Okay, and then the other one we did um, was also, sorry, leaders going backwards again. Um, but uh, going counterclockwise. A shoot, do, do, a shoot, do, plant and a paddle, 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 step forward. A shoot, do, do, a shoot, do, do. And uh, we gave you a directionality to your exit to make it um, more comfortable to go back into your basic. But the most important part about your exit is a change of weight and stepping off of the axis that you've been rotating on. Um, and that allows you to do any number of paddle turns. Um, we had to play around with that. Um, and we demonstrated that there were four ways to do your paddle turns. Um, leaders can also go forward clockwise and counterclockwise. Um, but we picked the two that we did so that you could um, put them together in a fun little pattern, which looked like this. Five, six, seven, eight. Do, 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 do. Paddle, 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 change switch. weight. Paddle, 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 change weight. Paddle, 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 change weight. Paddle, 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 change weight. So you can kind of like wind your way around like a serpent, and that's kind of fun. And you don't have to do three paddles. You can do any number of paddles. Um, we just did three, so it would be similar to what we did um, earlier, building on that. Um, and then the last thing we worked on was uh, turning, rotating your basic and paddle turns into a come around, right? So. Um, we did the first half of this eight count pattern as rotating your basic, and the second half as a paddle turn. So we'll do one full basic to just get warmed up. Let's see if you can do it. Five, six, seven, eight. A shoot, do, do. A shoot, do, do. And then we rotate the basic, paddle step, right? And um, that paddle step allows you to create continuous rotation rather than just kind of sawing the wood, then changing direction, sawing the wood, changing directions, and slowly uh, tick tick talking into a circle. Because the come around is what's going to propel you into bell swing moves. So with the basic, bump, 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 and then rotate the basic, paddle, step. And this is going to take you into stuff that's going to be taught next month. Um, so, and you'll pick up with the come around at the start of the next class. Mm -hmm. So sign up for bell swing. Um, and we will see you next month. Thank you so much. Thank you.